modular, transportable, and adaptable system such as the one behind us could be a game changer for collective protection and seabird operations. Today we are demonstrating an advanced capability demonstration known as the Collective Protection Connex. It is a uh, modified 40-foot shipping container turned into a collective protection facility. Uh, a collective protection facility is a hazard or toxic-free zone created to protect troops in a chemical, biological, or radiological, or nuclear attack. This is a, a prototype system. We've taken the, the, uh, the concept and now we are testing to see if it meets the warfighter's needs as a command and control node during a contested environment. This system is the first of its kind to be in Japan. We also have a similar system at Osan Air Base, Republic of Korea, as well as Ramstein Air Base, Germany. Working with Osan Air Base originally in 2019, we identified modular, transportable, adaptable systems such as the one behind us could be a game changer for collective protection and seabird operations. So this system fills a critical gap in capability because most installations do not have a collective protection facility to operate out of, and this is an expedient and transportable shelter that can be put in any location, pre-positioned or uh, post-attack, to allow the warfighter a toxic-free area to operate. So partnering with PACAF as well as with USAFE, uh, we've been able to develop uh, these Collective Protection Connex advanced tech demos. Following General Brown, our CSAF's Accelerate, Change, or Lose moniker, uh, we've been able to develop these systems uh, rapidly, to deploy them to the field, and we are collecting user feedback. The end goal is Yokota Air Base warfighters to give us valuable feedback, how well the system works, what can be improved, and how they can incorporate this capability into uh, various mission sets across the installation to improve sortie generation in a contested environment. So anytime you have the opportunity as an acquisition professional to actually deliver a capability to the warfighter and actually see it employed and being used it is really a, a phenomenal accomplishment. And to be able to be out here with my team, to actually see this thing employed, to partner with Yokota Air Force Base, 5th Air Force and PACAF, to demonstrate technology that, could be, that is relevant and is timely is just such a huge win and we're just excited to be here.